uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to talk about these some set of questions okay so we will go through one by one i think most of these questions we have already covered okay let's talk about this string reversion we have done right uh, how do you check if a string contains only digits so what you can do is you can just run a for of loop and just do a is n a n so this is a method in javascript which will tell you if a string representing a digit or not so you have to iterate if you find okay let me write this code so it will be good so const string contains digit okay we have a string as input and here what we are doing is we are running a for of loop let i let c of let c of string and here we just need to check is not a number so if character is not a number if so what we need to do is we need to check if string contains only digits right so is not a number if this comes out as a true then we have to return false that means whatever you have entered that does not represent any digits otherwise return true is not a number if character is not representing a number return false otherwise return true okay uh, how do you count the number of characters from a given string so we already talked about one map this map can be used for all these scenarios to get the count of each and every character how do we count number of walls that we have already done how do we count the occurrence of a given character in a string you just uh, iterate on to the string and compare like here you will iterate on to the string uh, if i just get the count okay this is the another argument which is character we just need to get the count of this character in this particular string so what i will do is for each and every character i will just compare with this character if this comes out less than we will just do a count plus plus and finally return count i will initialize count with zero okay so this count is initialized with zero and then you will keep increasing it so we will get the, the number of count for a particular character how do we count okay that we have done how do we print the first known repeated character what you just need to do is uh, you already got the map right map of the string so here it is it should be pretty much simple get character first non first repeated okay it can be repeated or non repeated what we need to do is we need to get the object by calling this map to a string I just need to pass string so i got the map i just need a for in loop let i in obj and here you need to just check if the value of object i if value of object i is greater than 1 okay i mean one will one is the minimum because for each and every character can exist once but if it is coming more than one then what you need to do is you need can simple return character i and you can also return the count okay simple here first non repeated character okay so what you can do is in in case of non repeated if your object of i is equal equal to 1 that means this is the character this is the character which we got from the map which has the which is holding the value 1 and we just need to check only the first one so whatever the first one is coming we will return that okay now uh, palindrome anagram now this is important i think reverse we have done already i will just talk about this how do you reverse a word in a given sentence so you already know even if you got a words like uh, you already... so next thing we are talking about is uh, string rotation right so we have like two string how do you check if two strings are rotation of one another 
okay so we have one string here hello and another string we have is the rotation of it so it will be l l o h e okay this is the rotation of it so this is str1 and this is str2 there are two strings now what what simple logic it can be is we just concat string twice string one twice okay we will just concat it again now final string which we are going to get is after the concatenation of is this now we just need to check does this string contains this or not now let's see does this contain this or not if it contains that means yes these are rotate this is a rotation of that okay here you can see put one more space it is matching the criteria right so we can write a simple check const is rotation of one another here we are passing string 1 and string 2 simple arrow function here we will create a temp right temp will be a concatenation of string 1 twice okay so we can actually check return temp dot includes temp dot includes str2 that will return if it is returning true that means it's a rotation of second string is a rotation of the first one if it is returning false then it is not the rotation okay so this is how we can check the rotation of two strings now we will talk about the last problem statement here is uh, how do you find the length of the largest longest substring without repetition so these two questions we will cover in the next video and these are also more important first one is getting all permutation of all a uh, single string so if a uh, string is given like this what all permutations you can think right string permutations and how do you find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters okay so we'll talk about this example how you what is the algorithm we are using to find all possible permutations and combinations of a string okay let's see that in the next video